G'day everyone and a Merry Merry Christmas to you. Um, doing a pre-Christmas uh, video, the last one for the year. Um, got a bit of a festive decoration hanging up there <laughs> in front of my desk. Just zoom out so you can see that. <laughs> there he is. So, yeah, I just thought I'd do a brief sort of end of year and at the moment i am back to so get this lower the camera down back to painting um the lads from strathclyde the from dumbarton rock alt clut or yeah is the other name for strathclyde alt clut old clyde i guess so strathclyde and uh yeah i completed the horses um Let's see if I can lift the camera up so you can got a bit of variety of horse colorings going on there. So the only thing to do on them is um, some of the brass work, the metal fittings. But yeah, I've got uh, basic skin and hair blocked in and some other bit, you know, metallic bits and Stuff like that, so yeah, so uh, so it'll be sort of bits and bobs video today. Um, I wanted to share because I know I've talked about before, uh, whether folks are interested in um, hearing about paints I've been trying or things like that, paints and brushes and hobbies, the stuff we use to do our painting and hobbying with that um, I might have picked up and because um, I like videos like that where people try products, review products, tell you what they think of them. Um, yeah, particularly when I know that they're not, they're not sponsored <laughs> and they're giving their um, honest uh, opinion of it. So I just want to, uh, there was a couple of things I wanted to um, show you. Um, might have to take the camera off the stand so I can sort of freewheel it a bit, but I'll just lower it down for a wee bit. Um, to more desk level okay um yeah um now these aren't christmas presents these are from um either something i picked up during the course of the year or um i had a my birthday back in october and i had money from that that uh i put towards some uh, more paint because <laughs> you can never have enough <laughs> supposedly um i keep tr wanting to try different things um and some new brushes some fancy brushes i picked up and um have got a bit of use out of so far and hopefully we'll do more in the future um though the money was from family and i wanted to get something special with that um so the first thing uh picked up a couple of new scale 75 sets um i bought their um their flesh tone set um so i'll just show you the front box flesh paint set now i've been using scale 75 paints for a while now and um i have some of the earliest sort of releases like for instance you can tell they've had them for a while look at that one this is and i've been trying i keep trying to find a new bottle of it um when I want to place, you know, because I don't want to order just one bottle of paint, but get this and some other stuff. But this is um, one of their colours called black leather, which I've used again and again and again. Um, and it's just about had the biscuit. Um, but yeah, I, I some of their colours, particularly the, the leathers and the woods and things like that, I use extensively. And um, some of their reds are great. And um, yeah, there's some excellent colours. And like... Um, it seems to be the case with a number of paint manufacturers that they go back and reformulate their colours or improve them. You don't always necessarily hear about it. And if you've had a bad experience with them, um, it can put you right off and you, you just write that brand off as like no good. But um, I have, and it's certainly been the case with companies like um, AK Interactive. I've, some of their earlier paints just totally unsuitable for the way I painted. But now they've got the third generation stuff. I've bought quite a few of them. 
and have found them to be excellent. Now with these guys, I found this, these paints pretty good from the start, but I found certain colors were, they had a kind of a grittiness to them. There was something untoward in the mixture that was that produced this kind of strange grittiness in the paint. Um, I don't know what had got into it. Um, but anyway, um, I've bought more since because um, they keep tweaking the formulas. And I think, I mean, so far from what I've found, only, you know, it's only improvements. Um, and every time I buy more, I keep finding there's slight changes to the labels or the lids and stuff. So like this one, for instance, Oroco, which is really good. Um, I had a bottle of this in this older style labeling uh, where the central icon was slightly bigger. And, and this is some later generation. <clears throat> this had that gritty um, aspect, but I still persevered with it because it was a good wood color. Um, and but since I, I had replaced it with a new new bottle, um, and this is much smoother and much better, um, so it re improved formula. So really happy with that. Um, now I they also seem to have changed their lid styles as well. Um, I've never tried their fantasy range. These are all from their sort of just scale color modeling range. Not even from there. They do it another range that's more suitable for. World War One, World War Two stuff called War Color, I believe. I believe it's called War Color, um, something like that. I haven't got any of those. I noticed Frank from Frank's Miniatures. Um, he uses those. G'day, Frank. Um, shout out to his channel. Um, and they look pretty good. Um, now, so here's a couple of other single colors. I, I, I think I've seen other people using them. Um, Sarastro, he's a, he's got an excellent painting channel. He 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 uses a lot of the scale color stuff. Uh, picked up some of the anthracite grey to try. Um, the only one of the things you've got to watch with these um, paints is that you need um, a sharp uh, tool to break through the uh, nozzle because it's a sealed nozzle under the lid and it needs to be broken through so the paint come, can come out. Um, Apart from that's from fine, and I usually I nowadays I try and put a little a dob of the actual paint on the top, um, so that if I'm looking down from above, I can get a better picture of what it looks like. Um, so I picked up the anth that one and this petroleum grey, and this is they seem to have switched to a different lid style. Um, that's a cool, been a good colour. Yeah, but the flesh paint set really happy with this actually. <coughs> I typically use a lot. For my European flesh anyway, basic European flesh. I use this Reaper Triad, which I've had for quite some time now. Still going strong. Um, it's a bright skin tone triad, I believe it's called. Now, with the as typical of Reaper paints, their uh, printing of labels leaves somewhat to be desired, and they're like those thermal uh, printing things. I don't know what you call them, but a bit like the receipts you get from a checkout <clears throat> um, print um, or a card machine that fade quite quickly. These fade as well. So <laughs> you have to be writing over them. I, I haven't written on these over and over again, but because um, I kind of know what they are because I keep them together. So that's the basic bright skin, tri skin tone triad. But what I found is that this box gives me a l even more options. I mean, I've got other sets of skin tones as well but there's a lot of good colors in here um so r worth a pickup um do check to see if it's better value to buy them by the set rather than singles um good websites will give you prices so that you can work out how much you know per milliliter and stuff um you can just sort of divide it by how many paints in a box and whether it's worth getting a box set I mean, some people might think it's worth it because it's got a little bit of fluff in here that got some ideas about painting skin tones. I mean, I'm not too fussed, to be honest. I'm more interested in, does the set give me better value? Is it more economical to buy it as a set or should I buy them singly? Anyway, some great tones in here. And I kind of like basically found a triad that's pretty close to what 
I get with the bright skin triad um, and it shows up on the camera actually quite different to how it does to my eye this this the camera's telling me that this is really yellow but it's not <laughs> I can tell you that that cut this is quite pink this is sort of peachy kind of color not yellow um yeah but they work really together and are a good uh good european flesh tone i've found if you want to use that but the box set has a lot of different tones included some nice um african shadow colors indian arabic i mean they're just names but you know use them how you will kind of thing yeah so good set good please please with that pick up um the other one i bought um recently is this blue set and i have i've bought a lot of the sets um in the scale color um years ago i bought a bunch of them i bought the reds the greens and the wood and leather set there oh and i've got a lot of the metallics um but i haven't got everything not by any means um so yeah this is a sky and ice blue paint set so once again you get a little bump pamphlet if you want to use it just sort of got some ideas about layering blue and highlighting the blues and stuff and mixes and things um but if you look really nice some really nice colors a bit hard to tell in this light but yeah some really nice tones there now what made me jump on this one in the end and buy this box set was um i think it's um the youtube channel uh liberator uh, it's liberator and some numbers i can't remember but he is a superb painter and um, love his work. And uh, he's based in the UK. And he recommended, I think when he was painting his Wurdenburgers or something, he was using, I think he was going with this deep blue and with a Cantabric blue highlight, I think it was. So I believe I've got a commission coming up for some of these word of burgers i think later in the year anyway so i thought they look like good colors not that i haven't already got lots of blues but uh i didn't have these and <laughs> and they're they're just really nice they go on with a really excellent um very uh matte finish they're not shiny at all if that's you know if that's what you want kind of thing but i like it um yeah they're kind of a people call them a gel base kind of thing i think it's just it's like any paint you get used to working with certain paints some people are happy to work with really quite thin paint um which you need layers and layers to build it up um i prefer a paint that gives me options <laughs> a paint that i could i could slap it on and one coat it and it's there but i can also thin it thin it thin it you know and it still keeps its color they're the best sort of paints really in my opinion that that will do both um and but obviously there are certain um pigments that are notorious for being a bit thin but in those cases it's getting a base color underneath them like with yellows and stuff that um allows you to put it on so yeah good set recommended i'm saying recommended i haven't used them yet i need to dot the uh, lids with color yet but i could tell that they are very very nice and you know like i said the other i found the others really reliable um because it was a present i went a bit crazy and had some gift money and bought a nice gift set of brushes this is a bit posh for me uh but you know i mean i use posh brushes but um selectively and the bulk of my work is done with inexpensive synthetics for the the big stuff um but the artist opus um s series um nice presentation case that's what i sort of thought i've been given this money as a gift and i thought buy some something sort of gifty and we'll zoom out a bit so you can see it so yeah so that's the set now you get a two a one yeah a zero, double zero, triple zero. Now, to be honest, 
the way I paint, I'm more likely to just use the two and the one, maybe occasionally the zero. I'm not sure if I'm going to get much use out of these, but you never know. And you get this little doobry here with a bit of uh, brush soap. I've still got an old thing of the master's brush soap. But um, yeah, a bit fancy, a bit swanky, these uh, brushes. But um, I have used them. I've used the two and the one, and, and they are very nice. Um, I suspect, I'm fairly sure they're actually made by Rosemary & Co for Artis Opus. Um, so they're Yorkshire made, um, which will please certain YouTubers out there. Um, <laughs> and that's to the best of my knowledge anyway, I'm pretty sure they are. And then, but they obviously, um, ask Rosemary & Co to make them a certain way. And then they seem to have some sort of, um, quality control doohickey thing themselves where they check them and give them the stamp of approval so yeah um a bit fancy um i i it's one of those things do i recommend them i think if do you want to treat yourself and you've been given a gift or you or or you know sometimes people when they give you something for a birthday or a special something you know they like to see that you've got something nice and a kind of makes them have a warm, fuzzy glow, and you can say, well, I bought this set of Bosch brushes in a wooden presentation box, and they're jolly nice, and, well, yeah, they are, they are, and they look good. So there you go, and they should last me a long time. But, you know, having said that, I still have to tell you, I keep banging on about it, but at the moment, these big ones are the main sort of go-to brush, cheap synthetic, uh, where well, we've got 11 and a 9, um, I'm using these for a lot of the legwork on my painting and I'm still finding these. This number two, Rekab Pure Sable from Israel, uh, 310. Fantastic brush. Fantastic brush. Just as, I, look, at the moment, some of the other sizes, not as uh, sort of endearing, but the number two, fantastic point. Got a good um, sort of belly to it, and they have pretty, pretty good price point. Um, if if you can get them, I, I I gather they're not available everywhere, but for some reason, um, yeah, they seem to be in Australia and a few art stores. Um, there's a distributor here, evidently, and um, cracking brush, excellent value. Um, so I have asked for Christmas from my in-laws for another voucher for the art shop. Whether I'll get that out, I'm not sure. But um, I may find myself picking up some more of these wonderful brushes and maybe some other bits and pieces. Who knows, I may have something to show you in that regard in the new year. Um, apart from that, I don't think I've got any other pickups. I seem to have paint everywhere. Um, there's paints all on my desk and there's an awful lot of brushes. Um, oh yeah, I've been using. I, I like this book. This is a classic. This book. It's really useful. Just uh, one of my favourite things about it is uh, that I go to again and again. Is his ideas um, using Vallejo colours to paint horses. You don't have to be strict with um, his formulas, but they're just a good starting point. Give you good ideas. Um, yeah. So it, there's up here. There's a uh, more paints, tube acrylics, some good horsey colours. Uh, down in this drawer. Oh my, there's there's my uh, AK Interactive third generation drawer down there. Excellent paints. Really recommend them. So that, that's an example of a company that's reformulated their paints and improved them. Um, I've got... Standard paints up there, a lot of Reaper and some Vallejo and whatnot in front. And then I got, ah, there's a heap of Reaper in the front there, grouped in triads mostly. And there's some more Reaper on the lower levels and then all the rest of that. That's Vallejo. And then, uh, yeah, I got more paints and inks in there, and uh, some big um, bottles of wash and stuff, um, and then 
there's another rack there with a lot of um, scale 75 paints in that rack uh, in the, the green set and um, a couple of the other browns and all the metallics and a couple of the inks and stuff so yeah <laughs> I got a couple of paints and um, I'll probably end up buying more but there you go so yeah I know some people said they were interested in hearing that sort of stuff so there you go it's a bit of a mixture today a bit of what I've been working on a bit of a Merry Christmas shout out to everyone and look after yourselves drive safely if you're driving around visiting family members and things like that and um, yeah hope you have a blessed and safe and happy Christmas and New Year and um, we'll see you next year all right guys take care bye for now